Hello, everybody. Today we're going to talk about Marvel Zombies. Marvel Zombicide. Marvel Zombicide. So, the question that the Game Warrior has for you, and the question that I'm asking myself, just like you, is do we buy this? Like, do we go for it? Right? Now, obviously, if you're a big Simon fan, there's probably a already, you know, an itch in your head and you're already going to do it, right? Or maybe if you're a Zombicide fan. But here's the problem with Zombicide. For me, it's just kind of worn out. Like, it was so fun for so long, but now it's just like... And, you know, and let me be totally clear here. I just bought, on sale, at an incredibly great price from Miniature Market, Green Horde. Never had Zombicide Green Horde. I got it. Played it yesterday. Got it in, opened it, played it. And I loved it. I remember loving the Zombicide game. But eventually, there's so many more games out there that are doing so good that... And when I say doing good, they're just doing new and cool things. It's not the same retread in the undead area, which I did kickstart, full disclosure, and, you know, or the invader in space or the Black Plague, which is actually my favorite, right? And the new second edition, which I didn't even try. Like, I'm not even going there. So the real question, though, is Marvel Zombies, Marvel Zombies. So let's take a look at it, okay? Let's just take a look at it. And the idea here is that your conversation with me, we're going to help each other decide whether to pull the old trigger on this thing and buy it or not. So here we go. Okay, so here's the page. It's on Kickstarter. It's not GameFound. something to be uh, known. It's been going about five minutes, and it's got $2,746,000 already. $2,700,000. Just... Oh, it's going to hit three by the end of the day. So this is a big one for them, right? I wonder, you know what? Let's go look at how much um, Zombicide Undead or Alive brought in. Huh, let's see. Undead. Okay, here we go. Let's go check it out. It brought in... Three million three hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so in the first day, Marvel Zombies is just gonna blow that out of the water. So a lot more popular, right? It's got the Marvel IP. I heard that the I don't know if the full details on this. Let's go do it again. We got these search functions. You can come along with me. Uh, Marvel United X Men, right? I heard this might very well be that this was Simon's biggest ever, almost six million dollars. Look at that right there right there see on that on your screen wow okay so that's big is this going to come close is this going to come close oh by the way full disclosure <laughs> yeah i'm i'm part of that i'm definitely part of that uh and here's the interesting thing it's more than that because i bought that and then i upped my uh pledge once i got to the pledge manager and if i go on this one same thing same thing okay so have you seen the video we can watch a little bit of the video we're not gonna watch the whole thing, but it's pretty cool. Pretty well done. Listen to that music. Use your superpowers. Okay, so go watch the video if you wanna see the rest of it. And here's Galactus coming, did you see that? So that's pretty cool. Look, already 10,000 backers. I'm gonna hit the old remind me button. Uh, oh, I'm not even logged in, so well, there you go. Okay, so it's Zombicide. I mean, if you haven't ever played Zombicide before, I wonder how many people are going to watch this and go, hmm, man, I'm, should I try this? This is my first entry to Zombicide? It might be. That's interesting to think. So, if speaking to you, if this is, you're like, I've never bought a Zombicide game, what's it about? Uh, it's this cool little system. You lay out your tiles um, to create a map on the city. And then there's zombie hordes that just come at you. And there's these wonderful detailed miniatures. So they just appear at spawning points. And your heroes, your little miniatures, move around. And they have to fight the zombies, escape from the zombies, and achieve quests. They, there's, little, there's rules for the whole thing. It's really tight. It's really fun. Um, it, it, the zombies get more and more. So there's a thematic element with them more and more and more. And at the end, you know, you either get wiped out or, you know, buried by an avalanche of zombies or barely make it out, right? So it's, them it's thematic and it's cinematic. And one of the neat things about the game is that as your characters go, your little, there's six characters that go around, they gain in power. 
And that's a real cool feature, right? At first, you, don't, you can't do much, but as you kill more zombies, you get more powers. And the powers are really cool, and it's really fun to decide. You get to choose. There's a lot of choice points. So in this game, though, there's going to be two versions that we know. The Undead Pledge is where the zombie mode, where you play as the zombie hero. So this time, you're the zombies. Now, that's never been done. I know there's a couple gameplays out there. So I can't spend, but I didn't watch them and I can't speak much to how this is going to work. You feed off of bystanders to reach your objectives. Um, that's interesting. It says you feed off of them. I, I wonder if you kill them or do you just feed off them, right? Because uh, that's a nice way, right? I mean, you, I'm going to play, look at this right here, Captain America. And do I go around murdering people? That, that's a thematically weird thing. Um, if that happens, I don't have any problem with it, right? I, I'm fine. Um, you fight off living superheroes. So superheroes come in, but they're your enemies. They're probably like the abominations. In the, in the main games, um, there's regular walkers, and then there's these uh, runners, which move faster, um, kind of like your uh, rage zombies from that series of 21 days, 21 months or weeks movies. Um, and then the third ones are abominations, which are bigger ones, really hard to kill. And so maybe the, the, the heroes are the abominations. Hunger makes you powerful. You must devour someone to maintain control. Um, so that might be kind of like a crazy little uh, insanity feature that you saw in some games where the more insane you go, the more powerful you get, but then you could die. So you hunger, the more hungry you are, the more powerful you are. But if you get too hungry, you lose your mind, right? Something like that. That could be going on. So the first pledge is just this game is $130. Now I'm going to come right out of the gate. I should have, I should have just mentioned it first because let's just always talk about price first off. I was hoping that was a hundred bucks. I was thinking I was a hundred bucks. I'm going to play this game. I'm jumping in. I saw that 130 and it backed me off. Um, you know, let's, uh, let's go over to Amazon right now. Okay. And let's see Zombicide. Zombicide, right? Zombicide second edition. Oh, wow. $131. Okay. Well, I was wrong about that. That's, that's damn expensive, right? Uh, Zombicide Black Plague, 109, right? Uh, Green Horde, which I just got for way cheaper than this, 77. Uh, Zombicide Black Plague is 109 there. Okay, so that tells you something, right? We don't need that open anymore. Uh, 130. Now, what's something that's really cool about this, and this was particularly something that you know, that you should tune into with Simon, is that. If you went to Amazon or a or miniature market or game nerds or wherever, right? And you went and got yourself a game or a local game store. I have a local one called Game Night Games down here in Salt Lake. I go buy a game from them once a month just to help them, you know, full price. It's, 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 I don't get any discounts from them, but that's okay, right? Because they have a game place and I sometimes go in and play. I like to support them. But I don't always get my stuff there, right? Sometimes I do get it off Amazon. Sometimes I get, most I get my games off of Kickstarter. But here we go, $130.00. What's it going to be on Amazon? 120? Now you're going to get shipping with this too, right? So you're going, okay, so I'm going to get it. Uh, okay, well, well, I'll just wait. I'll just wait. That's what you want to say with that, right? Except for this piece right here. Okay, right here. Oops. Right there. I don't, this thing doesn't let me put a little box around it. Okay. Um, Marvel Zombies Core Box. Marvel Zombies Core Box and all applicable rewards. Simon is really good with rewards. If you saw, uh, I shouldn't have closed it, Marvel United, oh, the rewards are so amazing. You get this cheap little box, the starter box, you know, you pay 40, 50 bucks, maybe even a little less than that for Marvel um, United. And then you're like, oh, this sucks. And then you want, you want the like 50 extra characters that came with the applicable stretch rules. Now, I'm not sure how much we'll get out of this one, but it's it's interesting to uh it, to to remember that you're gonna get 130 it's gonna be like 40 or 50 for shipping because shipping got out of control and there's also these applicable all applicable rewards based on we got watch we got look look relax we got 16 days to go and there's gonna be piles of crap they put out like simon doesn't just put the game out they are gonna sell you they're gonna sell you they're the best salesman in the world sell 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 and the new thing will come out and the new thing will come out and these pledge levels will go up and you can get this expansion and this expansion and they are just gonna have a lot of fun it's a lot of fun to follow even if you don't buy anything 
tune into a CMON presentation when it comes to Kickstarter. They're the masters at it. I watch other companies. I don't. I, why don't you just follow what they do? Just do exactly what they do because it's successful. And why is it successful? It's because it's exciting. Now, sure, they have a good base game for almost everything they do, um, but it's exciting. So the rewards that'll come in. And uh, so let's keep going here. Let's look at a few more things. We're just talking this out, right? You just have a friend and me. We're just sitting here talking. It's my value to you right now is that we're just talking about this. Um, let's see. There's the Undead Pledge. That's your main game, 130 bucks, right? You're gonna get that probably a little cheaper with no applicable rewards on Amazon, okay? The Resistance Pledge. Now this is what they're doing is they're putting a full, almost a full second game for 110 extra dollars to get the X-Men Resistance. And so in this game, you play the good guys who are not zombies, okay? I don't know much about that. Marvel Zombies Core Box plus Marvel Zombies X-Men Resistance and applicable rewards. There'll probably be applicable rewards that go just with this box and some that go just with this one. Now what I don't see, and I'm a little surprised, is that you can't just get the X-Men Resistance box, right? You should be able to get Undead Pledge, the Resistance Pledge, and then put them together. But for whatever reason, apparently, and this is just our immediate assumption here, this Marvel Zombie X-Men Resistance game is not does not work on its own. I think you need the base game. Otherwise, it would be separated out. And then they have a third pledge right now, which if you just, you know, kind of like crap your pants at $410, yeah. It's this big, you've seen it around. If you haven't seen it, it's this huge. Look how big it is. These are the little miniatures. This is the full-size Galactus uh, miniature it's huge plastic miniature there's a couple people out there have painted some they've got some promo copies on uh, the internet uh, and this right here head comes off and you can have a zombie version see the zombie version and the regular version and the head hand comes off and it could be zombie version or the regular version and so he's like the first expansion that comes with it so this is interesting if you get the first two games how much does he cost 240 340 so 40 90 150 170 dollars this pledge piece this exclusive k is 170 dollars now i'm wondering 170 bucks right i wonder if that's going to hold its value i mean because they're you're there it's k exclusive you can only get it here that is not showing up at, and i'm on amazon except for someone you know second secondary selling this one is not K-exclusive, not Kickstarter-exclusive, so Zombies uh, X-Men Resistance will be there. But what about this? 170 bucks, will you see someone on eBay uh, a month after it's out selling it for, 100, for 250, 300? Will you see it in two, three years for four or 500? Who knows, right? That's something to think about. Savvy people, more savvy than me, will know exactly whether that's going up or not. And again, look at that applicable export, um, rewards, um, applicable rewards. So let's go down right here to what's in the game. There's not much we can do. We we'll show something except for these miniatures, right? And these are the Zomboside versions of these miniatures and they're casting them in green, but people will definitely have fun and they'll paint them. This is the zombie mode version. And so these are just the main characters. Then there's cards, zombie traits, eating bystanders. And here's, a, so those are bystander cards and then there are bystander miniatures. And then there's shield agents, and then you get to eat those guys too. And then shield guards, they're probably a little harder to kill, and shield specialists, right? And then here's the enemy superheroes, Thor, Spider-Man, Scarlet Witch, Black Panther, Miss Marvel, and Doctor Strange. So the question will be, do you think they'll, be, they'll end up being a zombified version of Spider-Man? Right now there's not. But that, I bet you, is somewhere down the line on that applicable stretch goal world. <laughs> Okay, there's the tiles and the pieces that go with it. Uh, hero mode compatibility, not sure what that's about. The rule book is something you can go look at right now. I mean, they've been doing a zombicide for so long, they know how this goes. Here's the hero mode. Uh, these are the six that you get to play hero with. I'm guessing strongly the applicable daily unlocks and, bo and boosters of applicable stretch goals are going to up this number huge. I mean, they did it on X-Men Marvel United in such a huge way. And that might be another reason, by the way, this might why this opening price is so high. 130, 
because they know they're going to give you all bolts loads of crap later on and they do have a little crap at the bottom that they're going to show you let's see and these are some of the mult, uh, the bad guys and uh, here are some some more zombified versions uh juggernaut uh, uh, iceman cyclops saber tooth psylocke and dark phoenix look at that dark phoenix uh, thing if you can see it on your screen uh, it's it's quite quite detailed and cool and of course simon is known for their amazing amazing miniatures and here is the biggest of all amazing miniatures galactic the devourer the zombie version planet killer and he's part of the game he's not just a centerpiece to play with so uh and a lot of cool stuff and he comes with the silver surfer which is a zombified version and a regular version and hello everybody we are going to get visited by my cat this is ragpaw she's a gamer she's a gamer she's a zombie cat She's not a zombie cat. She is a zombie. She's always hungry. She's never, never not happy. So there's some gameplay over at Quackalope. Um, both sides, it looks like. Uh, there's some exclusives. Now, here, are they're, they're outlining what's going to come. They're going to um, produce an Iron Man, a Wasp, a Sabretooth, a, Mar a zombie Mrs. Marvel, a zombie Rogue, a zombie Wolverine. And so that, that we know is coming, it looks like. Okay, and those are going to be exclusive. They'll be stretch goals. So look, these are the stretch goals that have already been unlocked. So I was I was already right about this. Should have looked at two hundred thousand K, uh, Luke Cage, and then Luke Cage Zombie. So both of those come at two hundred, right? Twenty five hundred, The Beast at three hundred thousand dollars, or is it three hundred three million? Now that might be three million, right? Because they've already hit two million. Yeah. So those are those are pretty slow. I would have expected a lot more miniatures to come out by this time, right? So that's my opinion. I was right, 180 bucks. Oh, I said 170. Um, so when it hits three million, we're going to get the beast. So they're moving pretty slow. I would have expected a lot of unlocks before then. Maybe that's bad news. Maybe there's not going to be a lot of them. But I would imagine we got 16 days to go, so they're going to. They're going to stretch these things out. There's the Galactus Devourer. Here it is. Now, here's something to know, and we'll wrap this up. We've been talking 17 minutes. If you've been talking with me, spend some time with me and Ragpaw here. Uh, they're going to do two-wave shipping. Now, they did this on Marvel uh, United X-Men, and it's fantastic uh, because I already got I, – I paid the extra, and it, there's, a, there's some explains. So if you do uh, – Yeah, if you do the resistance, it's going to be $45 to do one wave. That means you'll get it all in 2023. Don't do that. That's ridiculous. Pay the extra shipping. Get the two waves. It'll be 64 shipping. It's pretty expensive, but that's the way it is now. And then you'll get your, your Zombicide game, your Marvel Zombicide game this year. They say it's going to be October 2000. I mean, this year we're going to be playing it by Christmas. And they got this game done. Like, they know what they're doing. They've got this plan to be hitting the same time it goes to retail. So it's going to be on Amazon the same time you're going to get it. So if you do it, I'm going to do it. Get the split shipping. Get your game early. And then what's really cool about that is it really generates great customer will. You're going to get this big box and you're getting to get this game. You're going to be able to play it. And you're going to like, this is just awesome, right? It came early. Who sends a Kickstarter in six months? In October? Right, 10, okay, so that's 10 months, right? That's pretty damn good, that's exciting, that's exciting. And then the next year, they say around June, probably a little late, but who knows with this stuff, like, like already my Marvel United X-Men stuff, which was due in May, it looks like it's gonna be here in April. They sent out a little note saying, we've got it all the way ready, it looks like it might even be early. So they probably have this game, they probably have their ducks in a row with this one. And when they say June 2023, they're probably right. That's probably coming in June. So that's a year and a half, right, for the second wave. But you're already going to have that first wave in 10 months. And they're probably going to deliver it on time. You know, I could eat, eat my words here, right? Um, I'm no CMON apologist, but the way they did it with Marvel United X-Men, it's been fantastic. I think they know what they're doing now. I think they've understood pandemic problems and producing and if you look at these games that people are playing I mean they're done I mean so and they're just giving themselves some extra time to do the expansions okay so are you gonna do it that's the question are you gonna do it are you gonna pull the trigger here's what I'm gonna do I think it's just it's I just would BS you I'd be, I would be 
BSing you if I didn't say I was going to do this. I'm going to do it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the U.S. pledge right here. See that? The $130. I'm going to do that one. And I'm, then I'm going to wait until this goes to backer kit, which is the pledge manager, which is a, if you've never, if you know anything about Kickstarter, there's a place where you have to go. It's a separate website where you go in and you finalize your order. You give them your address. You, you can add on extra stuff. You got a little time limit. You can decide what split shipping to do, and then they charge you the shipping. So if I, this is the way Kickstarter works. If I spend this $130 right now, I, it's not going to hit my card. They're not going to charge it until 16 days go by when this whole thing is done. At the end of 16 days, they'll say it's done. Has it funded? Has it hit its goal? It's already hit its goal. It's $500,000, right? And so it's, then they're going to charge $130. Bam, they're going to hit my card. And then a month to two to three to four, whenever they can, they'll, they'll open the pledge manager. You get an email and you go in there and they'll say, hey, you got a couple weeks, a couple months. It depends on how this game goes. You can, now's the time. Lock in your address, pay for the split shipping or the single shipping and up your order at that time. That's the secret, right? And that way I can put off, if I wanna buy this, I'm probably gonna get yelled at by Simon for telling everyone how to do this. I would, then I could just up my order later on, right? And that's what I did with Marvel at United X-Men. I did the base pledge and then right before the deadline, I went in so that they don't hold my money any longer than, than they need to, bought the split shipping and then I upgraded to the uncanny pledge. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Here's the question. Here's that question right there. Do you see it? 410. Are we going for the Galactus Pledge? And here's the thing. The way they do things, there's a huge chance there's going to be extra uh, expansions coming. So this is not the end. This is not the end. It's going to go higher. It's going to guaranteed go higher. So right now, where are you leaning? Type it up in the, in the comments. Me? I'm not thinking of getting that Galactus pledge. 180 bucks for that big thing. The only thing that gets me thinking about it is thinking if people, if that thing becomes like a collectible and you could sell it for five, six, seven hundred dollars later on. That's a thought. Okay, everybody. Uh, enjoyed having, uh, spending 22 minutes with you. Uh, exciting. This kind of makes this, when you're a hobby gamer, this is kind of what you, you wait for is this big stuff like this. This gets you all excited. Um, but you don't have to buy it, you know? Here's the thing. It, when it came to Marvel United X-Men, that game, okay, I keep referencing it, getting the extra content is going to be key. It, it, it's just a, such a simple base game that getting all that extra content is absolutely thumbs up. You want that content. I don't know about this. There's a lot of games on Kickstarter that people put out. You get the base game. You could play it five times, ten times, twenty times and go... I don't know. I'm done with the cycle of the game. We're not going to play it again. I don't really need those extras, right? I just, there's a game that I recently, I won't mention it, but I just, I've got all these extras sitting there and I'm looking at them. Oh, hell, I'll tell you what it is. It's Nemesis. Okay. So I got the base game of Nemesis and I got all the expansions for it. And I'm just having so much fun with the base game. I, I just wonder that I'm ever going to use them. Here's another one. Lords of Hellas. Another great game. Oh, I love Lords of Hellas. And I went on the secondary market. I got the Warlord box. I had to pay a lot more than I would have on the Kickstarter. And I got all the extra expansions. I'll never use them. Oh, I just went through each one. I bought them pre-painted. Someone had painted them. This guy was great. I'll never use them. That could be the case with Marvel Zombies. You could get this base game and just play with your family for... 30 games and go, we're good. We're done. We're done. We don't need any more. Whereas on Marvel United, oh, you want the extra stuff. You want the different heroes. So if they're smart and Simon's not very often been known to be dumb, there's going to be so much extra content, but that extra content is going to be fun. And it's probably in the form of kind of what we've seen already, which is going to be extra heroes. In this one, you can only play with these guys. Well, they'll eventually, you know, they'll give you an opportunity to play with Spider-Man or maybe play as the Green Goblin or maybe you can play as, uh, you know, all sorts of people. Uh, I don't see Ant-Man in here, right? Maybe Ant-Man, okay? Maybe you can, uh, the Winter Soldier. So, so much fun stuff that they could do. Okay, everybody, I hope that helped you. Uh, 
make a decision, right? That's the value of this video. First of all, you get to spend some time with me. We're having a conversation. We're friends, right? This is a good time together. But also, we're talking about a topic that sh that's of shared interest. And the real key is, what are we going to do? What's the decision? So I hope this helped you.